So hi guys, welcome back and today we're going to be unboxing something very exciting um, and I know, what's, I know what's in this box, it's a new adjustable panel, so Kentex Synchro AS so we're going to be unboxing this and we're going to be also um, demonstrating it with some Apollo devices and yeah, so let's get straight into it See some in the white housing, and there's something in there. I don't know what it is. Yeah, here it is. So, guys, here's the panel, and um, I just opened this door, as you can tell. So, um, here are the buttons. There's also a function button as well, which I think you can program it to do certain things when you press that. Got the lights, we got um, arrows, stuff like that to scroll through the men menus. As you can tell, um, this one's the model series 8000. And then here, we've got loads of stuff in here. So there's the second loop card, and there's the main loop as well. Um, so yeah, PC programming port and fuse fail indicators. Got a reset one and light enable switch. All right, so guys, um, I've got the panel working and all the devices learn, and I'm going to be just doing a quick demo of the system. And um, it's actually quite an easy panel to work with to program, and um, also you can change the text of the devices without or zones. Um, I've just done some experimental text. Obviously, it's easier with the Loop Explorer software, which you need to use with this particular panel. But I've managed to change it to um, Apollo Protocol. Unfortunately, with Apollo Protocol, that means that the Loop card cannot be used. So it's only going to have to be single loop with Apollo Protocol. But at least that means that I could po possibly get some Hachiki devices and possibly use this without getting another panel. Um, uh, you can see that this is Node 1, Auto Learn. And there's only one fault, which I think there's no batteries. I mean, supposedly there's one fault. It says general fault and there's disablements because this bass sounder is disabled. I think uh, without further ado, let's just, and yeah, it does have a fault. So I have to silence it, it says um, buzzer silence. But yeah, it's a really good panel. I really like it. So yeah, um, I'm just going to make sure I'm in access level two. So the code is just two, 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 two. Now it says access to, so yeah. And um, let's just press the call point then. That was a good tone hold there. And you can see that the Apollo call point is in alarm on the discovery call point. Um, we'll also trigger a couple of detectors, so here it is, um, it's address 121, I just set the addresses pretty randomly, I haven't really thought about setting the addresses that much, just make sure there's no duplicates as this is only just a demo. Um, and I just named this call point ABCD and I've assigned it to zone 2, um, you can see it says auto learn and if we go on more events as well we can see this event log as well which i mean it's probably not going to be that interesting so i'm going to leave that in alarm because i've assigned this discovery um uh optical smoke detector so yeah actually let's do this one so yeah let's just watch it blink away let me just make sure i'm in access level two Pre alarm. Again, a good tone hold from there. You can see there's the two LEDs. You can see the beacon flash as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to now disable this sounder beacon base. Um, and I'm actually going to re enable this base sounder. It takes me out of access. This one doesn't have actually a key, which is. Bit annoying but it's fine um 
So yeah, I'm just gonna reset this now. Oh, I just saw that blink. I thought I was gonna go off for a sec. All right, let's do the discovery, or this one actually. So yeah. And let me just make sure I'm in access level two as well. It's gonna go off. There we go. That's pretty loud. And it's zone four, because I've programmed this detector to be on zone four. You can see it's address 13, loop one, node one, auto learn. And there it is again. I do have quite a few more addressable devices that I will add like a heat detector, an XP95 um, detector as well, optical ones as well. So, yeah, there we go. And I'm just gonna wait, I'm just gonna leave that because I don't want it to re-trigger because the bass sounder is much louder than the beacon bass. Um, so yeah, and yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, that'll be um, very helpful. Now, um, some of you may be thinking, oh, where this, where is this going to go? Well, for now, it's going to go on a demo board um, because I can have as many devices as I want in it. I can make it really big. Otherwise, if I put it as a room system, then I can only have up to four or five devices on it, uh, which would be pretty boring in my opinion. So, um, yeah, and... I hope I'm also allowed to put this as a house system, as a mic to the doing that um, as well, but I'll have to ask and check. Um, but yeah, all right, goodbye. Thank you for watching.